On January 19th, the Women's March, dealing with major problems of anti-Semitism at the core level, the leadership level, they hold another big protest walk in cities across America. A lot fewer people showed up because, you know, people like their leaders, like Tamika Mallory and Linda Sarsour, they've been, well, they've had the DNC even walk away from them because of their anti-Semitic ties. I pointed this out, by the way, two years ago. But the marches nonetheless persisted in the name of female empowerment and being anti-gun, of course. Three days later, on January 22nd, a story of true female empowerment took place. An Atlanta woman shot and killed an armed intruder who tried to rob her inside of her apartment. Now, according to Atlanta police officer Jarius Daughtry, quote, the preliminary investigation revealed that the deceased male and a second male were both armed and they entered that woman's apartment at that location and attempted to rob the occupants. At that time, an occupant of the apartment shot one of the intruders, end quote. The police noted that the second intruder fled the scene. The man who tried to rob the woman inside of her home was 26-year-old David Freeman. And because he sought to harm that woman, he died of a gunshot wound to the chest. Make predators afraid. No charges are anticipated at this time, as the woman acted entirely within her right of self-defense. Now, before anybody at the Michael Bloomberg-funded whatever entity, anti-gun entity, uh, what is it, their trace program or any of these other anti-gun outfits out there, they get upset for covering the story or try to victim shame the woman for defending herself. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're victim shaming. Consider this. The mother of this criminal recognized the need for self-defense. She hasn't been named by police, but she said this, quote, the woman just defended herself, end quote. And she's exactly right. The woman defended herself against a predatory male. And yet three days before, a group that claims to be for women marched, and part of their cause is to end a woman's right to defend herself with a firearm. Empowerment isn't marching around with and, and enjoying your anti-Semitic ties. Empowerment is a woman who uses her firearm to defend her life against a male who breaks into her home and tries to harm her. And you know, anti-gun advocates try to do everything that they can to bully, to intimidate, and to shame law-abiding Second Amendment supporting women from protecting themselves and their families. I see it every day. The anti-gun, very far left progressive movement tries to bully women away from their right of self-defense. Whose side are you on?